South Florida, over one million with no health insurance. Where can they turn? Since 1971. Free annual health fairs. Free weekly clinics. Health screening. Offering patients a portal into the healthcare system. Completely student run. Throughout South Florida. Confronting skin cancer. Women's health. Prostate and colon cancer. Mental health. Children's wellness. Glaucoma and other eye diseases. Diabetes and obesity. Hypertension and high cholesterol. Osteoporosis. Forging bonds with thousands in our community who have no other choice. For many, many people in South Florida, it's the one chance that they have to access preventive care. Listening. Learning. Caring. From the University of Miami, Miller School of Medicine. I'm on my way to the health fair. It's around 6 a.m. and there are probably many people waiting in line already coming from all over Little Haiti, the heart of the Haitian diaspora in South Florida. Look at the faces. It's all there. Traces of hardship, poverty, and pride. How can I help them? How can we help them to receive better services that would improve their health? On my uh, left eye, I had a little cancer in my eye. Docs has continued to provide ongoing care and support since the first fair in 1971, constantly striving each year to review and evaluate what we can do to improve, and what continued resources we need to do so in support of the underserved and their health, in support of our human family. This is beautiful, and I think it's good for the kids to learn. And I see them from one year to the other, you know. Thank God I met a man, a great man, who is an alcoholic as well, but he's been sober for going on 10 years now. He's my mental support, my mental health care system. <laughs> I'll tell you as a medical student, I loved every minute of it, but it was the thing that I did in medical school that I brought home the most. I would think about my patients constantly. Psychiatry is gripping, and the human element of medicine and the, the human story, it pulls you in. At the end of the day, the most important aspect of being a doctor is to always remember we do it to help our fellow humans. So I have a sign in my office that says, if it's right for the patient, it's the right thing to do. DOCS offers students the opportunity to step out of their classroom, step out of the hospitals, and look at the real reality show of underserved people. 